If you're looking for signs uh, of inflation, head to the auto lot. Phil LeBeau joins us now with a look at what is driving car prices higher. Hi, Phil. Hey, Joe. You? Raw material costs, that's what it's all about. And we wanted to see exactly what raw material costs are doing to the price of automobiles in terms of what the automakers are dealing with. Check out this chart. This is due, uh, according to data from Alex Partners, a consulting firm uh, just outside of Detroit, works with the auto industry. We are at an all-time high in terms of raw material costs, up $1,152 compared to the averages of last year, now at almost $3,000 per vehicle in terms of raw material costs. And when you break it down, some of those raw materials, they have just exploded in the last year. Platinum metals, mainly we're talking about rhodium, up 135%. Steel has doubled in price. Copper, aluminum, they're all shooting higher. In fact, we found maybe one or two raw materials that are at the same price or slightly lower. Everything else is up, and that's done this to the auto stocks. Not a whole lot. Why? Because they're all trading higher on the expectations of developing electric vehicles. But make no mistake, it is weighing on their margins. Earlier this week, we heard from Stellantis CEO Carlos Tavares. He called raw material costs one of the great obstacles they're facing. They are able to pass some of this along to the consumer. Look at this auto loan data report. Fourth quarter, record highs in terms of how much people are borrowing to take out an auto loan, up almost $2,000, almost $2,000 in the last year, and the monthly payment at 576, it is also at a record high. Bottom line is this, guys, you see this periodically, maybe every three or four years, Joe, where raw material costs move higher for the auto industry, but what they're seeing right now, they've never seen it happen this quickly. Weird, uh, and it's not just the way it used to be, where it'd be like, Big things like metal and, and all the components. Now, a lot of it is chips, sure. I guess. Probably a lot of it well, is no, chips. no, I, no. You're talking about metal here. I mean, look, metal some of these too. steel mills, some of well, these steel mills had to shut down because of COVID-19. So that a restricted supply. supply a little bit. And then when you look at aluminum, Joe, it's not just run-of-the-mill aluminum. Highly specialized and a number of different varieties going into it these costs. vehicles, especially electric vehicles. That's driving up the cost as well. What about internet? It hasn't lowered. Nobody bought, goes to a dealership anymore. Isn't there a way of? Is, is, is are you seeing any? Well, you're uh, you're press? talking about the, the you're talking about in terms of the the sales process overall. Yeah, overall. I, well, I mean, yeah, it doesn't it, seem it, like cars are, have gone up that much, even with the raw material costs, because the, 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 there's pressure. Uh, no, know, I keep, disagree, Joe. You look really? at the you look at the transaction well, prices right now. Transaction it, prices are almost grand, forty thousand dollars per vehicle. That's a record high. That's a record. That's a new vehicle. You look on the U side, they're record high, too. Yeah. Uh, they're at over $20,000. So we are seeing this move higher. Yeah. Inflation adjusted, is it, is it? So it's significant. It's still significant. I mean, I don't yeah. have the exact percentage when you do inflation adjusted, uh, but right. there is no doubt. You talk to people in the auto industry, they will tell you they are feeling the pain right now in terms of raw material costs. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.